Welcome to Sandwiches of History Vacation Edition. Our guest host today hails from Malaysia, is a cookbook author, international TV host, and all-around food enthusiast. She uh, shares her delicious dishes on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And today she is going to uh, take on a sandwich that I did a while back, but she's going to do it from scratch and much more authentically. Please welcome Anas Nabila. Thanks again for having me, Barry. And hello, hello. Today I am sharing a famous sandwich from Malaysia and Singapore, which is the kaya toast. I'm gonna start with making the kaya spread. There are some nuts made using caramelized sugar, another one with palm sugar, and one more that's green in color made using pandan juice. But today I'm using golden caster sugar. You can use regular white. And this is the coconut palm sugar that I finally grated. I'm going to do this over medium low heat until everything is nice, lightly caramelized and melted. Just the quick. When you get this beautiful, shiny, silky texture, you want to add the coconut milk. Just gently. I'm going to mix this until the sugar melts again. The pandan leaves, add about a quarter teaspoon of salt and we'll just keep mixing. Take a little bit of this mixture and pour it into the egg yolk. So by doing this, we are slowly bringing the egg yolks to temperature. Add about three ladles full. It smells so good. Over medium low heat, slowly pour the eggs in. Make sure you wear an apron. <laughs> Keep mixing for about four to five minutes. Okay, so this is done. This is what you're looking for. It's nice and thick. I'm gonna let this cool completely before assembling the sandwich. I've toasted a couple of slices of white bread. This is not supposed to be warm because we're using thick slices cut of butter. I'm just gonna spread a generous amount of kaya on one slice. This can actually last you about three weeks in the fridge if you don't finish everything in one go. I'm gonna put the butter on the other side. You can obviously um, spread the butter if you like, but this is how they normally serve it. And I'm just gonna try and keep it authentic. I'm just gonna cover it like that and slice it in the middle. Okay, this is what it looks like. Look how beautiful that is. So you see thick layers of kaya and thick cuts of butter. Okay, now I'm gonna give this delicious smelling kaya toast a go. Mm. It is absolutely delicious. And of course, I'm going to plus this up, the typical Malaysian Singaporean way, by serving it with half boiled eggs. For the hard boiled eggs, what I did was boil a pot of water, turn the heat off, add the eggs and let it sit in the boiling water for 12 minutes without the heat and uncover it and then transfer it into cold water. Kaya toast into this hard boiled egg mixture. Now going to give this kaya toast plus up with half boiled eggs, soy sauce and ground white pepper a go. Mmm. I made a mess. But oh my, it's so good. I really love this version only because I am a savory sandwich kind of girl and I love the sweet and savory combination. Also, this is a typical breakfast meal for us Malaysians and Singaporeans. And if you've not tried this yet, you really have to give this recipe a try. So for the original Kaya toast sandwich, I'm gonna give it an eight. 
home Ikaya made a big difference. And the plus up version with the hard boiled eggs and the soy sauce and the white pepper, I'm going to give it a 9. Thank you so much, Barry, for having me. See you guys again. Bye. Oh